In this lesson, we're going to solve quadratics by factorizing. We begin with x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. And to factorize, we're going to put it into two brackets. And we have an x in each bracket. And that will be the x squared term. Now we need these two numbers that will multiply to make the 12, but add to make 7. So our factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. And 3 add 4 will add to make the 7. And we can check that this works. We have the x squared term. We have 4x. We have 3x. And 3 times 4 will make the 12. And these will make the 7x. So x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4 equals 0. Now, we need two numbers multiply together to make 0. So if this bracket will equal 0, anything times the 0 would be the 0. So in this case, x will have to equal negative 3. And for x plus 4 to make 0, x will have to equal negative 4. So the solutions are x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 4. We can check this works. We can put the negative 3 into the equation. Negative 3 squared plus 7 watts of negative 3 plus 12. 9 plus negative 21 plus 12 does make 0. Also, negative 4 squared plus 7 watts of negative 4 plus 12, 16 minus 28 plus 12 again makes 0. For question B, we have x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. So in the two brackets, we have an x term. And we need two numbers that multiply to make the 8. So 1 and 8, 2 and 4. But they must add to make the 6. So we have x had 2 and x had 4. So x plus 2 must equal 0. So x is equal to negative 2. And x plus 4 must make 0. So x will equal negative 4. Question C, x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. Again, into two brackets. And two numbers that multiply to make negative 2, but add to make negative 1, or negative x. So negative 2 is 1 multiplied by negative 2, or negative 1 multiplied by positive 2. And 1 take away the 2 will make negative 1. So x plus 1 and x minus 2. So the solutions are when x plus 1 equals 0. So x will equal negative 1. And when x minus 2 will equal 0. So x will equal 2. Question D. We have x squared minus 5x equals 14. To solve it using factorization, we need to make the quadratic equal to zero in this form. So we're going to take away 14 from both sides. So now we'll cancel. So x squared minus 5x minus 14 will equal zero. We have x in each bracket. So the numbers that multiply to make negative 14 are negative 1 and 14, negative 2 and 7, or 1 and negative 14, 2 and negative 7. We must add to make negative 5. So we've got x plus 2 and x minus 7. So x plus 2 must equal 0. x will equal negative 2. x minus 7 will equal 0. 
x will equal seven. And finally, for question A, we have x squared minus six x will equal negative five. So we're going to make the quadratic equal to zero by adding five to both sides. Then they will cancel x squared minus 6x plus 5. So two numbers that multiply to make positive 5 but add to make negative 6. We have 1 and 5. They multiply to make 5 but they don't add to make negative 6. But we could also use negative 1 and negative 5. Because two negatives multiplied make a positive. And adding it would make negative 6. So we have x minus 1 and x minus 5. So x minus 1 will equal 0, x will equal 1, and x minus 5 will equal 0, x will equal 5. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out missmathematics.com for the full lesson and worksheet.